you know how many people believe that getting a good job with a decent paycheck is all you need in life? Well, Bold by Peter Diamonds and Stephen Cutler challenges that idea. It's not about settling for a regular job and a routine life. The book subtitle says it all. How to go big, create wealth, and impact the world. In plain language, Bold is about inspiring you to dream big. Think about going to a space, inventing robots, changing DNA, or finding ways to extend human life. It's about those huge, seemingly impossible dreams you might have and how to actually make them happen in the real world. This book mainly talks about something called exponential growth. That's a fancy way of saying things are changing really fast because of new technology. But instead of getting overwhelmed by all the high-tech stuff, it shows you how to benefit from it. In this summary, I'll share with you three key lessons that I learned from the book. Key lesson number one. The best way to predict the future is to create it yourself. You know, there is this idea called Moore's Law, which is named after a guy named Jordan Moore, who founded Intel. He noticed that the power of computers seemed to double about every year, which is super fast. Think about your smartphone. It's way cheaper than a supercomputer from way back in 1970, but it's way more powerful than the computer on the rocket that put the first man on the moon. That's all thanks to this amazing growth in technology. Now, here is the exciting part. When things become digital, like the stuff we use on the internet, they can keep getting better almost without any limits. And guess what? Because of the internet and technology that's available pretty much to everyone, you have the power to create something that could change the world. Key lesson number two. Artificial intelligence and sensor technology would be the disruptors of the future. The book says that the most impactful businesses in the future will rely on super advanced technology. Now think about when you start a business. Some can be started with just a website, but the ones that will have the biggest impact in the future will need to invest in really high-tech stuff. There are two areas that Stephen Kotler thinks will be huge. Artificial intelligence and sensor technology. First, AI is going to be a big deal. You know ChatGPT? Well, that's just the beginning. Imagine having a chat with your phone and it doesn't just give you a straightforward answers but also understands your feelings and moods. If you want a sneak peek into what's possible, watch movies like Hair, iRobot, or the Iron Man series. Now, let's talk about sensors. They're not just for military or store alarms anymore. Right now, there are glasses with sensors that can track how much you drink in a month, tell your plans to remind you when they are thirsty, and monitor things like your steps, heart rate, stress, and sleep. Here is the mind-blowing part. If you took all the sensors from iPhones around the world and spread them out, they could cover half of Manhattan. Just three years ago, it was only one six, and in a couple years, it might cover the whole island. Why are these technologies so important? Because they can grow really fast. For example, their manufacturing costs keep dropping, so they become available to everyone in no time. That's why businesses focusing on AI and sensors are going to be some of the biggest players in the future. Key lesson number three, build fast with skunkworks. There is a term called skunkworks that originally came from a comic strip, but it became famous during World War II when a small group of engineers had a super important job. They had to build a fighter jet really fast to compete with the advanced German aircraft. Guess what? They did it. They built the first US jet fighters in just 143 days. That's crazy fast, right? So how did they do it? Well, they had three important things going for them. First, they had one clear goal, no confusion. Second, they didn't have to deal with a lot of complicated rules and paperwork, no bureaucracy. Third, they had a team that could work in focused, distraction-free place. They basically built this amazing jet with just a handshake. They freed them to do what they needed to do and a quiet workshop where they could stay super focused. So the lesson here is that if you have a groundbreaking idea, don't be afraid to create your own skunk work setup. It's like making a special environment where you can really test your ideas with full focus. In just a few weeks or months, you'll find out if your idea works in a world of super fast technology, instead of spending years messing around with it and not really getting anywhere. So in summary, Bold is all about how exponential technology has made it possible for regular folks like us to change the world. It's like they've given us the tools to create the future of the world. It also talks about what exponential technologies entrepreneurs should focus on in the future to have the most impact. It also tells us that having a focused environment set up can greatly accelerate innovation.